Good morning. So today I have a day off all by myself. Alex is at work all day, not at work, at school all day. So today I am starting my day a little bit late with some tea. I'm gonna get the laundry done and then Thunder and I will go out for a walk. Um, Alex will be home. Oh jeez. Alex will be home probably not until 8.30, 10 o'clock. I don't know when his classes end, I'll have to check. Um, but yeah, so it's just gonna be a lazy day. I'll stay in my pajamas all day and just putter around the house. No, I'll change to go on a walk with Thunder, but other than that, that's all my plan is. Maybe when he comes home, we'll go out for like a little coffee date or something. But other than that, I'll probably film a little bit later to update what I've gotten done. Laundry, Thunder. Oh, and I want we have this spot in the, our apartment where there's this big empty space and it's just full of all craft stuff right now. All that junk has to do with my craft. So there's fabric, there's yarn, there's everything that I use and don't use. Um, so my plan for today, if I get everything else done, is to go through all that stuff and make boxes of donate, give to family and friends like some of the stuff that I like and they'll like, um, donate garbage and keep piles so that I can organize that room so it can be Alex's computer area instead of it being right in the middle of our living room which is what it is right now. He has all these monitors and stuff and I want it to be uh, a little more organized. Anyway, um, see you later. Okay, I know this looks crazy. This is the before. I have to put away all this laundry and I have to fit it all into that. Let's see if we can do it. Laundry, laundry, everywhere, laundry. So what I've already done is dirty clothes, dirty socks and underwear, work clothes, Alex's clothes, garbage that I'm finding, and donate clothes. It's a big clean out today, so now I'm gonna do the rest of that to all of this, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, see this t-shirt? I know it's just a silly New York City t-shirt, but that t-shirt is from the first time that Alex and I went to New York City. It was pouring rain and we were looking for somewhere to buy t-shirts for our family and it was pouring rain in August, it was sometime in August 2011 I guess? Anyway, we were in New York City and we, it was night and it was late night, like it must have been like maybe 10 or 11 at night and uh, we still had to get on the ferry to get back to the other side of the water to get to our hotel because we weren't uh, staying on the island. So. It was pouring rain and we were freezing because it had been so hot during the day. And then we found this t-shirt place and we bought like 10 t-shirts because it was something like nine t-shirts for $10 or something crazy where they were like a buck each. So we bought like 10 of them and we each put on like three t-shirts because we were soaking wet and freezing. And I had this t-shirt and then one that said New York Attitude and it had a Calvin, like Calvin and Hobbes. And um, and yeah, and we wore those and we looked like probably just silly because I would have had my makeup running and Alex would have just been a big huge Russian man who was wearing three t-shirts and soaked. But it warmed us up and then we went and had dinner at Five Guys. So as much as this shirt is probably worn, I don't know, once in a while, not, not very often as you can see it was at the bottom of a pile of laundry, um, I can't throw it out. Boom! All that laundry is gone! We got two little cuties sitting here. We go, hi, Bender. Hey, CJ. Hi. Now look, no more piles of junk. Just have to tackle that now. It's all the junk stuff. Everything's in the closet. Everything is in the drawers. And we are ready to go. Okay, so I've been organizing this, um, up and down thing, whatever drawers. And I've been trying to figure out what we need to keep, what we need to get rid of. I found a whole bag of garbage inside. But in the stuff that we're gonna keep, Alex and I are kind of hoarders a little bit with some of the stuff we keep. We have a box and whenever we do something that we do together or something that we really liked, we keep all of the things associated with it. So 
um, when we went to, like I worked at Melanie Lynn, when we, that's like a memory for us. When we went to the CNE, we keep the map. We have maps from all the different places that we've been and like uh, menus, we'll keep a menu if we really liked a restaurant like, or if we had a really great time there even if the restaurant was crap. Um, one thing that we keep that's borderline hoardery is all of our movie tickets. We have, okay, uh, aside from all of the ones that we have printed from online, this is just like, the oldest one we have is from, where's that? We have them from 2012 and 2013, 2012, there we go, see, look. We went and saw Brave, I guess, and some of them are just from last year or just from this year even, but we keep all of these things. There's like 30 or 40 movies that we've been to that we remembered to keep the tickets, so I was just about to throw them out and then I was like, it's kind of weird to throw them out now because we've had them so long. So they go back in to the memory box, which used to be a box of cookies, but now this whole thing is just full of memories. And now that thing is full of cards, paper and paper-like books, things that we own that have warranties, important documents, uh, current phones and stuff like that for both of us, uh, like notebooks, writing books, and then more warranties because apparently you need two drawers. And those are phones that still work, that we don't use anymore. So uh, we have a friend who's collecting phones right now for, I think she said there's a whole bunch of students in Ottawa right now from Malawi and they all need phones. So, I mean, there's three <laughs> anyway, so four, I guess, if that one works. So hopefully they work. We're going to do a double check before we give them to her. But other than that, that whole area is organized now. So now I just have to continue to tackle the pile. Oh, well. Hello, Charles. Yeah, you're getting a bath later, buddy. With all of this, eventually, that's all fabric. All fabric I have to organize. My little guy. Alright, lunchtime.